Before we jump in and start building websites, let's talk a little about what we need to know to build a website. Web development comes with a huge set of rules and techniques that every website developer should know about. If you want a website to look and function as you wish, you need to get familiar with web technologies that will help you achieve your goal. Developing an app or a website typically comes down to knowing three main languages, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And while it sounds quite complicated, once you know what you're doing, understanding web technology and the way it works becomes significantly easier. So what exactly is web technology? Well, you've probably heard of the term web development technologies, but did you ever think about what it actually means? Since computers can't communicate with each other the way people do, they require code instead. Web technologies is the markup language and multimedia packages that computers use to communicate. Browsers request information, and then they show us the information in a way that we can understand it. Think of them as interpreters of the web. The most popular browsers today are Chrome, Edge, Firefox, Opera, and Safari. Whether you're a front-end, back-end, full-stack, or any other type of web developer, there is one language that everyone needs to master, and that's HTML. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. It describes the content and defines the structure within a web page. Hypertext means that documents on the web are not meant to be consumed in a linear fashion. They're designed to be linked to other documents. A front-end web developer has to understand the relationship of the entire site and how documents relate to one another. This is called information architecture, and it involves how to best structure a website. How will a user navigate? And what types of access will users need to access other content? The second part of HTML is the markup language itself. This is the set of tags that are added to the text of a web page to define its structure, and this has some very critical roles. First, it defines the role each piece of content will have. Some content will identify different parts of the page, such as headers, navigation, and footers. Some tags are going to describe non-textual elements, things like images or videos. Now all web developers are masters of the markup language. They have to be detail-oriented and passionate about structures and semantics. Markup does something else that's really important. It generates the DOM, or Document Object Model. The DOM describes the structure of a page, and it's sort of like an outline or a map of the content within a website. When you add markup tags to a document, you're building the map that defines the role of the content. This map is really important to how CSS and JavaScript work. The DOM is the way you access elements on the page with other languages. The DOM is so important to sites and apps that if it isn't coded correctly, it can actually break the entire website. Although there are many skills to learn in web development, HTML is foundational to every type of job. And although technically it's the easiest of the languages, it's also the one everyone must master. Design plays an important part and is a key component of every successful website. Here you'll notice a specialization within the different types of developers. There are folks that are more interested in the look and the feel of a site and really enjoy working on the user experience, or UX. And there are those who prefer to work on the functionality of a site. That's called user interface or UI. Design for a website will require learning on how to work within the layout language of the web, which is called CSS. CSS stands for cascading style sheets. Like HTML, it's made up of two parts. First, CSS is about designing a set of rules or style sheets for how the DOM is translated into a visual form. The second part is the cascading style rules. These are the sets of rules that describe the priority of how the styles are rendered within a page. 
CSS defines a set of rules that identify the part of the page that you want to modify and then describe the styles that make the page look and behave in that particular manner. This website demonstrates how the same content can be designed to look completely different using CSS. Here you see the basic page without any sort of styling. It's really quite unusable. And here is the exact same HTML, but now we see it with some CSS, which helped to rein in some of the items and form out the layout of the page. As you can see, this is a huge improvement. CSS will also let you add some motion and even a level of interactivity to your designs. So learning CSS means also learning to work with the elements of motion and the language of interaction as it relates to graphic design. As CSS has matured, things like variables, calculations, and more complex features have made it into the language. So CSS now has some features that are similar to what's available in other programming languages. One of the biggest differences in designing for the web is that content has to be responsive. In other words, it needs to adjust to the proportions of different viewports, like desktops, laptops, and mobile devices. Also, the CSS language is always changing. There have been three major revisions, and a third revision has been split into independent modules that will expand in the future, so the language will always be evolving. Everyone who works in the world of web development has to be comfortable with a certain amount of programming. For web development, that means learning about JavaScript, the language responsible for managing interactions within a browser. It's not just front-end developers. 50% of back-end developers say they use some form of JavaScript daily. JavaScript interacts with the DOM, handling events, loading and unloading media, and creating and modifying and deleting elements on a page. JavaScript is a scripting language used to create and control dynamic website content. This refers to anything that moves, refreshes, or otherwise changes on your screen without requiring you to manually reload a page. Features like animated graphics, photo slideshows, autocomplete text suggestions, interactive forms, and so much more. An even better way of understanding what JavaScript does is to think about certain web features you use every day and likely take for granted. Things like when your Facebook timeline automatically updates on your screen, or Google suggests search terms based on a few letters that you started typing. In both case, that's JavaScript in action. The three main elements together form the backbone of web development. They are our front-end core technologies. So just remember, HTML is the structure of your page, the headers, the body text, any images you want to include. CSS controls how the page looks. It's what you'll use to customize fonts, backgrounds, colors, etc. And JavaScript is the magic third element. Once you've created your structure, HTML, and your aesthetic vibe, CSS, then JavaScript makes your site or project dynamic and interactive. So now you have a familiarity with the minimum core technologies that you'll need to master in order to successfully build websites.